Hey everybody, it's Charlie Price, and this is the latest installment of Style Junkie. Well, I just read all of the September issues, finally, all of them. It always takes me about a month. So I want to talk to you about fashion trends, beauty trends. But before we do that, let's talk about one of my favorite, favorite, favorite subjects, fall TV. Because as I've been saying for a while, TV is so much more interesting to me lately than movies are. So I thought, you know, the the fashion and the influence that these TV shows have is too important to pass up discussing. We got it. We got to cover it, children. So, I mean, the first thing, you know, that anybody wants to talk about is American Horror Story. And this is, you know, the year of Lady Gaga and the hotel and everything. And it's such a conglomeration of eras. You've got Lady Gaga doing her imitation of, you know, Catherine Deneuve in The Hunger meets old Hollywood movie star. There's references to The Shining. Kathy Bates is very 70s, kind of like nerd. You've got the, the, the drag queen, almost Rocky Horror guy, Dennis O'Hare. It's so artistic and so inspirational that I think that that's definitely going to be an influence on all kinds of stuff, pop culture, fashion, music, whatever. Um, and then there's, you know, there's shows like How to Get Away with Murder, like Viola Davis. The only reason to watch that horrible show is her outfits. They really need to teach her how to walk, though. I mean, I'm such a fan of Viola. I'm so glad she won the awards and everything, but the show is awful. I couldn't get through five minutes of it. I'm just so disappointed. Um, of course, The Walking Dead is back, and it's, you know, great. And I, it's, I, it's kind of launched its own, like, survivor, REI, you know, she outdoor chic. I always wonder, I'm like, who's, who's, like, highlighting their hair and cutting their hair? How do the guys shave? You know, and they all look like they smell good. They don't look very dirty or anything. I always wonder about that. So it's a little hard to take, but I love that show. And then, you know, I still love Project Runway. I'll never be able to get enough of it. I just, it, there's something fun about watching people that are good at something do their jobs and interact. I just love it. And Tim Gunn is so amazing. So I just think that you don't necessarily get fashion trends from Project Runway, but I think it's almost like a mirror of what's going on in the street or in the culture with people that are cool. Like it's a, it's a barometer of cool is what I think Project Runway is because they always get the coolest kids on there, I, I feel. I love it. I, you know, it's fun to see what the cool young people are doing when you're old like Charlie Price. And then, you know, I got to talk about one last thing, and I always harp on Rachel Zoe. And here's the reason I don't like Rachel Zoe. She's very beautiful. Her hair's great. Her outfits are to die for. But the minute she opens her mouth, she sounds like an idiot. Now, clearly we know she's highly successful, highly accomplished, highly intelligent woman, so I don't understand the Rachel Zoisms, the bananas, and the shut it down, and all that other BS. It just, to me, already makes an industry fashion and beauty, which people think is so frivolous, even more frivolous. Now, I'm all for being wild and being, you know, off the charts, but it's nice to be, you know, not act stupid, and I just don't understand why she does that. It's like, she's acting like a dumb vocal fry chick. Uh, I just can't stand it. I just can't with Rachel Zoe can't. Okay, so moving on. I feel like we have to talk about nails because nails are everywhere and everybody's all about nails. Like, nah, there's a nail category. All I see on Instagram is nail artists. My favorite, by the way, is China Nails. Follow her. She's amazing. I met her in Global Beauty Masters, and she does this whole blinged out adornment nail art thing I think to perfection I'm 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 I definitely am a follow a devotee of China nails um and I get nothing for that I just am a fan I, li I like to tell people who I follow on social media um I think that not everybody should do crazy nails and sometimes if the people aren't good at it they kind of look like they got their hands dipped in um, super glue and they just like everything that stuck to them they just kept wearing it and never took it off and act like it's fashion it's just a hot mess um, or actually a lukewarm mess or a cold mess or a nasty train wreck mess um, so how do we use that maybe maybe we talk about you know um, graphics and simplifying all of that um, 
I don't know. I mean, I think there's a way to do it tastefully, is what I'm saying. Um, and then, you know, even my, like even Madonna, even J Lo, older women, Gwen Stefani, all the way down to the young, you know, Rihanna and whoever, with with the nails. Everybody's doing something to their nails, even if it's just the lady on the street is putting glitter on the nails and the and the. Um, you know, crazy colors like blue and gray and green, whatever. I think this is important to note that, you know, people are in, into so much that we really more than ever now have to look at that somebody's total look when we're doing their hair because there's a lot of bag, there's a lot of shoe, there's a lot of nail, everybody's getting their makeup. It's like so much to keep track of. But I think nails are having definitely a moment. So now let's talk about fashion fashion. Um, you know, I love to devour those September issues and I learn so much about what's coming for the next year. So I think some of the things that are coming back is updos. I mean, you know, it's been so much disheveled hair and I'm not, and we'll get to that, trust me, but the updos and Prada's campaign, um, very mid-century, like a beat up chignon and Chanel had sort of a banana clip punk rock mohawk thing, you know, so that shows that this edgy goth warrior chick is as strong as ever even she's even got her ath athletic leisure goth leisure i mean it's an it's like permeated every category um and then you know this whole retro thing is still going strong and i, I saw it in italian vogue referred to as post retro so anything from victorian to mid-century to 70s disco to anything 80s and the mixes of all of that stuff. You also see old Hollywood still. You see 1920s, 1930s. I mean, it's so much. It's really anything goes. So you kind of have, almost have to put it in like different personality categories, like the bombshell or the good girl or the socialite or whatever. Otherwise, you you know, there's too many trends. Another one would be like what I call ancient romantic. This influence of things like Game of Thrones and the old Roman look. You see that in a lot of the ads right now. Um, and then one of my very, very favorite things is the androgyny and the trans and the blurring of the lines between the sexes and plus size. I mean, at New York Fashion Week, I was the most excited about plus size models. I just thought that Lane Bryant video of those girls walking was insane. I absolutely loved it. The last thing I want to talk to you about is this wet hair thing. I mean, what the hell are we going to do to sell? When you've got Beyonce on the cover of Vogue in a couture evening gown, with wet hair. I mean, I'm not saying I don't like it. I think it looks amazing. I'm just not sure how, now that's a hard one to translate. So I will get back to you on that. I mean, and if you wanna social media me up and tell me what you think on that subject, I just don't know how to translate that. Maybe it's just to put more visible product in the hair when you're finished. I'm not sure, I want everybody's thoughts on that. Cause that is definitely the, the natural curl trend and the wet hair trend is like probably the biggest thing that I see that's not going away. Um, anytime soon that's on the newer side of things all right so you know we talked about a lot today fall fashion fall tv and nails i think we nailed it so that's my latest installment of style junkie get back to me with all your comments and hate on me love me whatever you want bye darlings mm -hmm.